Good morning, families. This is Auntie Ruby again. It's great to worship with you online. Before we start, let's have some announcement first. Firstly, Awana and Chinese language classes for the new school year has started the registration. Please go to our church website cbccoc.org for registration. And also, please invite friends to join us. It will be an outreach opportunity for us. Then, it's our summer children's Sunday school class on mission. Have you realized that we have six Sunday school classes already on mission, and the missionaries? And that's amazing. And we went, you know, smoothly over. And but next week, we will take a break from the Sunday school because we will get ready for a new school year to start. August 2016 is a break and no Sunday school. And so you can sleep in a little bit or join the children's service earlier. And but August twenty third, after your school start, and also we will have a promotion day too for that Sunday. And we will have three children's Sunday school classes on Zoom for kindergarten to sixth grader. And you will get more information through the email. But happy new school year, and hopefully starting with a new school year with prayer. Plan and also trust in the Lord. Okay, before we worship God, let's start with a prayer, because this week, not just for you know for the school, you know a lot of preparation, but also for our church, and we have many things going on too, and we will have a special business meeting coming this Sunday. We need a lot of prayer for that, and as church, we want to move on to. And also for you, you know, starting a new school virtually, that may have a lot for you to adjust to. That's why let's start with a prayer to God, to ask Him to help us and bless us. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your goodness. And we are so thankful that we can be here as a church family. We know that now, not just this whole wide world. Our nation, even our church and our church family, there are so many things going on. And Father, we are so glad we have you, because you are mighty, you are strong, you are good all the time. And so that's why with you, we have no fear, and we know that you will carry us through. Firstly, and we give you big praise and for helping Elok, our dear. Friend and he's out of the hospital. Yeah, he fell. He got hit his head, but we are so thankful you heal him fully and quickly. You know, soon, and now he can get back home to recover. And we pray for him, and also Father, and we pray for Mary Lamb's family. We know that Auntie Mary went to be with the Lord, but we pray for Uncle Alfred and Emily, Auntie Emily, and the whole family. While they are grieving, while they are preparing for the service, memorial service for Auntie Mary Lamb, and we pray that everything will go well with them, and you will come for their family. And also, Father, we pray for our church coming this week, and we have a lot of things, and we may have a prayer meeting on Wednesday night, and we have Q and A time, and also we we will have the business special business meeting to help our church to move forward. And Father, we know that. You will help us, and you will bless us, and you will guide us and direct us, and also for all the school, and also for our children ministry. We will start a new school year soon, Father, and may you prepare us, and may you help us bless our adjustment on virtual everything in the meantime, and everything, and will be good for us, because Father, you said that in all things you work for the good, you know, for those who love you. And we love you, and you will help us. And but now we can worship you. We commit this time into your hand. May you speak to us. May you connect us. May you comfort us that we have Jesus in our heart. That's the firm foundation. And also we will follow and obey Him. And you will help us. And we give you thanks. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, sorry, it's a longer prayer, but really there are so many things to pray for. But however. Today we have a another very special worship time. We will have a bigger children worship team singing the song "Shout to the Lord." 
Yeah, you will see your friends over there. We have seven of them. And I wonder you know all their name. Okay, let's check after. But, you know, they will lead us to worship God. But, again, if any one of you are interested to be a part of it in the future, let Auntie Ruby know or Auntie Willie. BL's mom, Auntie Willie, is the coordinator for that. But anyway, now is our time to worship. Let's join us.
Yes. Last Sunday, Auntie Ruby talked about the Minecraft, which is a uh, app. Many of you like it, right? And we talked about build wisely as a wise builder because we build you know, on the rock, not on the sand. And how can we build on the rock, right? From Matthew chapter 7, 24 to 27, talk about the wise builder will, you know, build on the rock by obeying, listen and obeying Jesus' teaching. And so hopefully we will do the same too. We are all wise builder. But today the lesson will be on Facebook. And I wonder whether how many of you know about Facebook? I know that most of your parents have Facebook account, right? Including Auntie Ruby. But actually, I tell you some special thing about Facebook first. And years ago, actually, a Facebook was an actual book, like full of phases. It was a photo book published on many college campuses so that students could look, you know, one another up and get to know each other. And so that's what they use on the campus, the college campuses, is a real book. But today, the Facebook is one of the largest and most powerful companies on the internet. And the Facebook app connect people all around the world. And Facebook began as an electronic version of the traditional Facebook. It was intended to help the college student, you know, to meet one another and get to know each other, connect them together on campuses. But now it has been grown into like a you know, like uh, something bigger. More than 1 billion people use Facebook, Facebook to connect and to advertise and to you know, put the photo, share the photo information. And actually, Auntie Ruby also used that too. Let me show you. This is Auntie Ruby's Facebook, okay? You will see that. And this is the VBS last year. Did you remember this picture? And as I said, you know, it connects me with many of my friends all over the world, not just in United States, but in Hong Kong, in India, like Pastor Francis is my pastor from my previous church. And now they are in India, Pastor Francis and Sunita. And also I have many friends like here. See, this is Pastor Elliot's wife, Bethany, and also Susan. Yeah, actually, uh, don't forget to pray for Susan too. Uh, you know, Auntie will be forget she got some fever. And so that's why we need to pray for her and pray for her full recovery. But anyway, yeah, you, you see, I have 505 friends. I even don't realize I have that many friends get connected through the Facebook. But now uh, there's other Facebook too, you know, for giving information and connecting us together. I want you to guess this one. Okay, what is this Facebook page? What do you think? What that's for? Can you recognize some faces? Yes, this is our church CBC COC Facebook page. Is that amazing? You may see you inside in the picture somewhere, maybe because that's a baptism, right? And again, we have, wow, 311 members. This is a private account, you know, only for our church. And so this is one of the Facebook, you know, page we have. What about this one? Awana Clubs. Of course, this one you know. Yeah, Auntie Bonnie duly make this Awana Clubs Facebook page so that, you know, for all the Awana families, including you, you can take a look what's happening. But Facebook is a very powerful means for to connect each of us. And, and it's like in the real world, connect us one at a time. But how to do it? Actually, it's very simple. You just send our friend request, like an invitation to someone you want to connect with. And if they accept your invitation, then we, you will become friends and they can share your Facebook page and see your pictures and, you know, wall posts, good news, bad news and everything. See, Auntie Ruby has over 500 friends from different places. And this one app really brought people together and around the world through common interests and also common beliefs like our church and Awana, the page. Is that amazing? Yes. And so the Bible tells us long before Facebook was invented, actually, Jesus also sent out an invitation to us. 
Jesus has invited all of us to be his friend. Jesus wants to save us from sins and take us to heaven. And let's hear part of Jesus' invitation from the Gospel of John. Today, the passage will be on John 14, 1 to 6. And before we read this passage, I invited another friend to read for us. And he is Martin. Okay? And Martin mentioned him. He will be reading for us. Let's listen to him. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yes, last Sunday, we talked about a Sermon on the Mount, about the wise and foolish builder, which was Jesus' early sermon. However, today we talk about Jesus' last words. In less than 24 hours, Jesus will be on the cross. Jesus has his last words with his disciple in this upper room in his last supper. And usually Good Friday night, right? We will remember and read those stories. And in chapter 13, John chapter 13, he just told his disciple that one of them will betray him. And also Peter will disown him too, three times before the rooster crow. Now, moving to John 14, he start to comfort and assure, give assurance to his disciple so that they will not be that confused and also scared and fearful. And firstly, what did he say? He asked his disciple, don't let your heart be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. Yeah, trust me, because no matter what happens later, it's for your good. Because why? There are many rooms in my father's house. I will not tell you this if you were not true. And I'm going there to prepare a place for us. And so actually he comforted us that, you know, and he will go to heaven soon and prepare rooms for us. And also he assured us that he will come back. See, after I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back. Then I will take you to be with me so that you may be where I am. And so, yes, he did mention that, you know, he will take us. And the key is that he's the one, only one can do that. Only through him can we go to the Father, heaven. That's why in John 14, 6 mentioned here, I'm the way and I'm the truth and life. The only way to go to the Father is through me. That's what Jesus said about himself. And Auntie Ruby has biggie because, you know, sometimes I think about heaven. Because I can't wait to go there. I know heaven is the best place ever. Paradise, right? Beautiful. No more sins, no more pain, no more, no more suffering, no more COVID-19. And so Auntie Ruby tried to dream about heaven. Why don't let me show you some pictures about heaven? When Auntie Ruby tried to Google, find the images of heaven, all those come to, you know, me. Is that beautiful? And in the Bible, they mention, you know, like the heaven is like with golden street. And the mansion here, that's where Jesus will be preparing us, each of us a room. Is that amazing? See, it's just so bright. They don't have sun. They don't need any sun because Jesus, God, they are there. That's why it's just their glory, just like the sun shining us. That's why it's so bright. You don't need to have any light at nighttime. There's no nighttime. It's always bright. And also there's a river of lives. Can you see? It's like a paradise. And so that's heaven. 
sometimes you know when what happening now like COVID-19 there's so many disease so many death so many illness it's so sad and so whenever it's happened Auntie Ruby will think about heaven because that's where Jesus will take me to I he is my friend he, he, he give me a friend request I accept that and so he will take me there what about you okay let's see how well you know about this passage it's not long okay but it's important lesson trivia how to play complete the following statements about today today's lesson okay number one Jesus said he's going to prepare a blank for us what do you think one two three a place for us okay indeed he he will you know he is you know while he's telling his disciple he will die soon after three days he will be raised and then he will be ascended to heaven what is he doing over there to prepare a place for us and to pray for us too is that amazing number two and there are many what in God's house in heaven there are many okay can you guess one two three rooms yeah that's why don't worry that there's not enough room for us over there as long as Jesus want everyone going there he had he has enough rooms for us but the key thing is we need to accept his friendly invitation and also ask your friends to accept his invitation too like Facebook connect one another so that all of us one day can go to heaven to have a room with Jesus number three Jesus is the blank the truth and the life remember verse 6 I'm sure you know this is a very popular very important verse and the favorite verse for many others including Auntie Ruby Jesus is the way the truth and the life no one goes to the Father except through me that's Jesus talking about himself number four no one gets to heaven except through whom he is the only one no other ways I know that now there are many religions many belief telling us that you can know God you can get to heaven no but in the Bible there's said only one way who is that person I'm sure you know about that Jesus yes only Jesus that's why we need to share Jesus with our friends and with everyone because many people may not know about that number five Jesus want us to blank him as our Savior this is the key what do you think it's a little bit harder but I'm sure you still know okay start with a one two three accept him Jesus want us to accept him like Facebook you send a friend request you want your friends accept that and so that we can be friends we can get connected same Jesus want us to accept him as our Savior okay now we go to the memory verse how can a young person keep their life pure by living according to your word Psalm 119 verse 9 can you recite that okay how can a young person keep their life pure by living according to your word Psalm 119 9. okay again I give you this picture why don't now I let you recite that okay one two three firstly this one what about this and this okay are you done hope that you can do it this time I don't help you okay hope that you can recite the whole verse and it's come to your mind through this picture okay today's we have the learning about Jesus he is the only Savior he is the way and the 
truth, and the life. And so he is the only one. And Jesus is the only one can go to heaven, preparing us a place for us. And there are many rooms. And so that's why I would like you to accept Jesus' invitation. It's not that hard, okay? What you need to say, like actually Andy Ruby shared last time, you just need to tell him, Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. You know, I use this to help you, okay? This is a color book, okay? This, this black color reminds us, yeah, we are sinners. We admit that we are sinners. We do wrong things. We want to do our way instead of God's way. That's why we sin against you, God, you know, Jesus. And the punishment and the penalty is death. That's why we will all die. But however, we believe that Jesus is God's son. He loves us. And also, he died for us. See, the red reminds us of his blood. Without blood, there is no forgiveness. And so he has to die and shed his blood so that he can cleanse us, remove our sins. He paid the penalty for us. That's why he's the only one has done that for us. He's the only savior for us to put our trust in. And what you need to do is just, you know you are sinners, you believe Jesus died for us, he's God's son, he loves us, he can cleanse our sin, so that, oh, there's a blue one. We can believe in him, we can receive him, we can get baptized and also continues to grow. Like the green color, you know, the blue color represents the baptism. And the green color tells us that we will continue to grow in him every day. Until the day that we remember Jesus in heaven. The golden color, the yellow color, the glorious color. There Jesus is preparing a room for us to go. That's why this is the gospel. This is the good news. And Jesus is the only way that we can be going to see the Father, going to heaven, the beautiful place ever. Hope this will help you. If you want to just say a prayer, tell Jesus, Jesus, I believe. Peace be my Savior, be my Lord. I believe you. And Jesus will be so happy. Tell Auntie Ruby, I will be so happy. And also tell your moms, she will be so happy too. But of course, if you don't know how to do it on yourself to receive Jesus as your friend and Savior and Lord, you can tell any adult, ask us, and we can help you. And also for those, I know that many of you have received Jesus. Remember that the Facebook? We have many friends. Jesus made a lot of invitation to all people. For us, can we also send those friendly requests to your friends, to your unbelieving relatives and grandparents, auntie, uncle, or your neighbor, or your schoolmates, or your, your friends in the team, or football team, or soccer team, or swim team. Yes, share Jesus with them. Connect them with Jesus so that uh, before Jesus coming back again to take us, he can take more, not just us but all our friends, all our relatives, and all our family. That's the greatest thing ever we want to see. Okay, summer reading, Bible reading plan. We have Brielle join us. She read the Bible and for the past 14 days. And so that's why I dropped her a special treat. And this is her picture. If you have done that, please let me know. Or those who have done the 14 days now, they are reading the four gospel books. And let me know, okay? Okay, this time I will specifically mention about the cards for our four missionaries family. Remember in the past weeks during our Sunday school time, the mission Sunday school time, we make cards. Okay, now this is the Zoom 
picture. We might see different one of you make different cards, right? But so far, only Ryan, Ryan Gray, he emailed, he mailed his card to me. Okay, and this is for the missionary family at Gary Chan. I got that. But what about all of you? Okay, please ask your parent either mail it to me or drop off at the church on Friday afternoon night when Auntie Sandy is over there. We have a box outside the office and just put the cards there by August 15. And so Auntie Ruby will collect all the cards and then send it to our missionaries. And they need our care, they need our encouragement and support. I'm sure God will use us to bless them. Okay. Anyway, have a blessed week. And before we close, let's have a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing upon us. We need your blessing. Jesus has blessed us by telling us that He will, can be our Savior. He can be our friend. And He will go to heaven to prepare rooms for us. And Father, all of us want to go to heaven one day, not just by ourselves, but with our family, relatives, and friends. And so, Father, may you help us to share this good news to the people around us if they don't know you. Even for ourselves too, if any one of us haven't received Jesus as their Lord and Savior, may you touch his heart and help those to make that decision. And Father, you sent a friend request to us already. The key thing is we have to accept. May you help us to accept Jesus. And but we pray for this world during this time. People need the Lord, need Jesus. May more, more will come to know Jesus, especially those who are sick, those who are dying. And they will receive Jesus so that they will go to heaven. There's a room for them that prepared by Jesus for them. And Father, we really pray your salvation to go to, to come to everyone but we are thankful today we can be here to worship you we give you thanks may you bless our week it's an important week coming and you will direct and guide us and lead us move for, moving forward and we pray all this in jesus name amen okay have a blessed week see you next or not see you next week actually next week is marco god we will speak to all of you but auntie ruby will see you in the new school year, August 23rd. Okay, take care.